In this experiment, you'll study relative motion. You'll send two carts in opposite directions. One cart is launched with a spring. The other carries a camera and built-in sensors that measure its velocity. Using the video from the camera, you'll measure the velocity of the spring-launched cart in the reference frame of the camera cart. The principle of relative motion says that the velocity of the spring cart in the frame of the camera cart will be equal to the velocity of the spring cart in the classroom frame minus the velocity of the camera cart in the classroom frame. It's a good idea to orient the smart cart so that its positive x-axis points to the right in the camera's frame of view. This will make it easier to keep your signs straight later. Open up the Pasco Capstone software and make sure you're connected to your wireless smart cart. Press the record button on the camera and begin recording data in Capstone. Have your lab partner launch the spring cart while you give the camera cart a gentle push so they pass by each other. Make sure the carts are at least as far apart as shown here so that the spring cart doesn't go by in the video too quickly. Transfer the video you just made from the camera to your computer. Go to the video analysis tool in Capstone and open up your video. Click the Analyze Video button in the toolbar at the top of the video window. In the dialog box that appears, select Create New Run. Once you do this, you'll see in the Video Analysis toolbar that an object has been created for you to track. It'll have a name something like Object Number 2. In the graph for the spring cart, click the Y axis label and select the X position of Object Number 2 to graph. Click the Play button in the control area and advance the video until the spring cart shows up. Pause playback and use the rewind and fast forward buttons to go back to where the cart just appears. Click on the leading edge of the cart in the video frame. The video should advance by one frame and a red crosshair will appear at the point you clicked. You'll also see this data point show up in the graph. Continue taking data points from the video. Once the cart is fully in the frame, you can use its length as a size scale for the video. Move the ends of the calibration tool in the video to either end of the cart and then enter the length of the cart after measuring it with a ruler. Once you have your data for the smart cart and the spring cart, you can use linear fits to determine the respective velocities.